Greetings, fellow detectives, and welcome to Boiler Room Detective. The case of the defective gas valves. We were on a job site to start a new steam boiler we sold. The installer had a service technician available in case we needed anything. We tested the flame safeguard, and when we started the burner, the burner went into flame failure with the error code flame detected. This error meant the flame sensor detected a flame inside the boiler before the burner started. Our first thought was it must be a defective flame safeguard or flame detector. That theory went out the door when we walked around the back of the boiler and saw the burner did have a flame present. I thought it couldn't be the pilot. This flame is too large. The next thought was the gas valves were leaking through. How could they be? They were brand new in two different model gas valves. The service technician and my son leak tested the upstream gas valve using the bubble method suggested by the manufacturer. The bubble test uses quarter inch tubing installed downstream of the gas valve. The other end of the tubing is placed in a container of water. To determine if the gas valve is defective, you count bubbles, seriously. According to the manufacturer, the allowable leakage for this valve was 13 bubbles in 10 seconds. Testing this valve reminded me of a toddler blowing bubbles in a glass of chocolate milk with a straw. It leaked like the valve was wide open. As you can see from this video, the bubbles coming up through are the gas leaking through the gas valve. It's much more than what the manufacturer recommends. Hmm, that explains a lot, the service technician said, and we looked at him. The service technician continued. The owner smelled gas and called us. We leak tested the new gas train and found no leaks. So they called the fire department, who also found no leaks. In the future, that's important to know, I suggested, and he laughed and agreed. The burner still had that small flame in the bottom of it. Our next step was to check the wiring to see if voltage was present at the valve. There was none. We even switched the breaker off and the flame was still there. Both valves are defective and leaking through. Closing the manual gas valve, we contacted the factory and told them about the leaking gas valves. The factory thought the valves had moisture or dirt inside and I didn't believe so. The manufacturer was stumped as well. The contractor called and asked when we would get the replacement valves and who would pay to install them. The valves were on back order due to the supply chain shortage. I pulled up the site pictures from the job and looked at them, wondering if I could figure out what was happening. I have never seen this in 40 years. I was comparing the pictures from the manufacturer's cut sheets and the answer dawned on me. The valves were installed backward. Would they leak if they were installed backward? I contacted local Honeywell distributor and asked about it. He wasn't sure but would check. He called back a while later and said that they could leak if they were installed backward. I sent an email to the installer and told him what I found. I told him I wasn't sure if the valves would work if we switched them back, but we should try. Fast forward several days and we were back on a job site and the boiler worked perfectly. The valves were leak tested and found to work right. I learned two things from this case. Always verify the gas valves are installed with the proper flow. The incoming gas pressure helps seal the diaphragm closed. The second thing was to instruct the installer never to open the incoming manual gas valve before the startup. Gas was leaking through the valves and into the idle boiler. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have my two websites. The Brewing with Steam site has monthly blog posts on steam systems for breweries and distilleries. I have written 11 books on boilers and they are available on Amazon. 
In addition, you could find some of my writings in these fine publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I hope to see you on the next case.